guys, so today, um, as you can probably tell, I'm not in my bedroom. I'm actually on vacation. I'll be coming home very soon, but um, I figured I would get um, at least one video up um, while I am here. And it's just going to be a very simple video on cleaning your brushes. And um, I know a lot of people don't know how to clean their brushes properly, and then they need to get new brushes because the color has... You just can't use any more colors on your brushes, but yeah, so I'm going to show you how to clean your brushes in just a few seconds, and I also wanted to talk about, I'll do a video on it, but as you probably see when I'm doing my hand motions, you see this, it is actually a henna tattoo, I'll show you, it's Betty Boop, and I've had it for like two weeks now, so it's starting to fade away, but I really, really like it. It's really cute and fun. And my sister and I got him when we were in North Carolina together on vacation. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to do a video on the care and whatever of henna tattoos in case you're curious. And, yeah, so I'm going to get this video started. And, um, see you later. Alright, so this is my little makeshift, um, desk type area, um, vanity, whatever. So I have my straightener and all my brushes on here. So, excuse that. So you're going to want to take, um one sheet of paper towel. I recommend the quilted because it's very absorbent. I just have more sheets because I do have tons of brushes to clean. Okay, so you have your sheet of paper towel. You can just put it down. I like to fold it just so I really don't get anything anywhere. And, okay, so I'm using um, Siege Daily Cosmetic Brush Cleaner. Looks like this. I just got it at my local Harmon's. Um, you can spring for a more expensive one, but the thing is, I really needed this on short notice. So, um, it was really, you know, convenient. And, yeah, so. So, what you want to do is you just want to spray. I do about three spritzes. Um, yeah, just do like three spritzes. And then I'm going to choose a brush that I know is very dirty. Like this brush I used to apply my blue ash eyeshadow this morning, and you're just going to go and take it. You're going to go in circles, and you know for the fluffier brushes, you want to go in circles, and you just want to keep going, and um, you'll pretty much know when you don't need to clean it anymore, but sometimes if it's a really dirty brush, this one's not that dirty because I didn't use too much blue, but when it's a really dirty brush, um, you're going to need to, uh, I like to do another squirt and really get it all off, but I just look at it see what's going on but then you want to like reshape it so mine is pretty good re pretty shaped you know well I just put it to the side and you need to let it dry um let's see I'll do a f okay so then for an angled brush this one's angled and fluffy so I'm just gonna first I'm just gonna go like this and just you're gonna just wipe it back getting all the stuff off you can see the gunk you'll notice the gunk coming off and then um, you can go in circles as well. Then I always go back to this because you want to keep the angled shape. And then when you're done, I just like to run it over here to see if anything comes off. There's a little bit coming off, so I'm just going to do like one more spritz. And yeah, a little more is coming off. You want to make sure they're really clean. Okay, and then just like this. And it should be clean by now. You want to make sure you get its shape back, and there you go. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you types of brushes. Okay, then a little stubby one like this, and you just, this one has the blue on it too. But you're just gonna do um, small circles because you don't want to fluff it out. Small circles. And then, because it was kind of fluffy, I just kind of go like that to the tip. Because so it'll automatically go to a point. Just you want to go like this to the tip. And it gets kind of round. Let's see. Round again. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to do um, a brush that is, cut, is mostly flat, but it's a little bit fluffy. Like this. It's an eyeshader brush or a shadow brush from Sephora. Mm -hmm gonna do three squirts but it has very it has a very very light eyeshadow on it so you're, because it is fluffy you're gonna go like this but this loses its shape really easy I found with this brush so 
so it's gonna be really easy to clean off um, but then you get it's kind of like deformed and you're just gonna shape it so you can go like this like that I just like to stroke it back and forth and then for the most part it will dry and look just like that I actually need to do the other side of that but I'll do that later okay another thing is for brushes with waxy coatings you want to take the waxy coating off with olive oil but if you don't have any olive oil which I don't at the moment it's just a little pencil brush um, you're gonna want to do two rounds of this the first round just to get it loose it won't take all of it off and this was just with my liner and it just takes it off just keep going and it's not completely off, so you would just want to do it again. Then, let's do it again, but it, and then I guess I got it completely off, and just want to put it back to the point. Okay, now for a flat brush. And if you have something more waxy, I really, really recommend using an olive oil, but if you don't, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to get a new sheet. I stack them one on another because it's just convenient. Okay, so you've got this. Now this one is flat. Just like a flat eyeshader. And you're just going to go like this. Just keeping it flat. Don't go in circles. Just keep it flat. And just go back and forth. And then if you want to go a little faster, you can just go like this. But make sure you keep it very flat back and forth and yeah so basically that is how you clean your brushes um, for really big blush brushes I like to go from further because you want to make sure you have a lot for like my face for like face powder brushes like this it's about like it's pretty big it can almost go in the whole palm of my hand if I go like that and then you just swirl it around and yeah you may need to do it a few times because depending on how you spray it, like my spritz, let's see if you can see this, was where all the pink is, it's like how, like that big. Because I use that as my blush if I have a really bright brush, but I want to blush, but I want to uh, tone it down. I use a really big brush, that's a little trick if you want to tone down really bright blush. Um, yeah, so basically that is how you clean your brushes. Um, just let them dry. You can even blow dry them on low heat from far away if you want. But yeah, that's how simple it is to clean your brushes. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.